previously on The Walking Dead. You don't have to fill his cup up anymore, baby. Grandpa is sleeping. No, Yaya. Pipo's awake. Solamente está confundido. Mama. Oh my god! Oh my god! Hey! Put your hands up. Close your eyes. Thanks. Mari! Oh! Shit! Kate! I have to stay with my family. Go! I'll hold him off. I said go! Hey. What do we call you? Sorry, forgot to introduce myself. It's Paul, but my friends call me Jesus. I fucking knew it. You're one of them? You're goddamn right she is. If you wanna shoot me, shoot me. How about I shoot your little boyfriend here instead? <laughs> Holy shit! What the hell's going on out here? Oh my god. So meine Freunde, da bin ich wieder. Herzlich willkommen zu The Walking Dead. Episode 3. We're just gonna get that propane and then come right back. I, I saw it in that pickup truck parked down the road a little. In front of the Wallace's house. I just wish there was an easier way to get it. And that we didn't have to risk life and limb every damn day. Mm. For food and water and gas for the stove. Oh, am I babbling? I babble when I'm scared. Nothing's easy anymore, Kate. But that doesn't mean we don't have to try. I know. It's just hard to get used to, that's all. We get over there, we grab the tank, and we get the hell back home. If we're lucky, we won't see a single one of those things. <sighs> Fingers crossed. Also, we're going to go a little bit back in the time, as everything started. Oh, Let's take it and go. Sick, it was empty. Oh, you've got to be fucking kidding me! God damn it! Oh, of course, it's empty. Why would we get that lucky? Uh, I mean, it's not like we needed it or anything. Okay. Easy, Kate. Maybe there's something else we can use in there. Yeah, okay, maybe. But we came out here for that tank. I just thought. This one time, we deserve to catch a fucking break. Hmm. Kate worshipped him. I'm sorry you had to see that. I'm sure he was a, 
a good kid. He's not a kid anymore. He's just one of those things. I don't even know what to call them. If they're not people, if they're just the dead, <sighs> muertos. That's what we'll call them. I thought we were gonna die. I thought Gabe and Mariana were just gonna wake up and we would just be gone. I'm right here, okay? I'm here, you're here, we're still alive. That's what matters. <sighs> Can we go back now? Sie wird sich das merken. Ich frage mich, in welchem Zusammenhang das dann auf die Handlung sich auswirken sollte. Vor allem, wo sind die anderen alle? Okay, das ist er. I know we all wanted to stay here in the house and wait for David to come back. But it's been three months since he drove away with your mom. What are you saying? We're not safe here. Not anymore. You and I could have been killed out there. For an empty can. There's gotta be a safer place out there. Somewhere not so isolated. So? We'll leave. Go somewhere else. Somewhere safer. Somewhere with crazy thick walls, okay? And a gate that's 20 feet tall. You really think the kids are gonna be happy with this plan? The kids will understand. A and if they don't, we'll just make them see it our way. We have to go. How come? What if I don't want to leave? Cape. We're safe inside the house. I and I bet we can find more food in the neighborhood if we just look harder. We need to find somewhere with more people around. People who are still alive. People who don't mind sharing their supplies. We have our own supplies. Not enough. Not anymore. But what about Dad? What's he gonna think if he shows up and we, we just ditched him? We might never find him again. Your dad would want us to do this game. He'd want us to survive. We've been surviving. Here. At home. Barely. I'm sorry, Gabe. But... Javi's right. Uh, how about you guys go and I stay here? You're a kid. That's not how it works. I can take care of myself. If I need any help, I'll just ask my friends. Mm -hmm. Gabe, honey. What? What's what's wrong with her? Why is she acting so weird? Uncle Javi? She's sad. Because when we were out, we saw your friend, Drew. But it wasn't exactly him anymore. You mean, he, he was one of them? We're so sorry, Gabe. So you understand why, don't you? Why we have to leave? If that happened to you, I couldn't bear it. When do we have to go? Tomorrow, as soon as it's daylight. I want to leave him a note. I'll help you get started. Okay? Who are we gonna tell him? I want to say something good. Something that won't make him sad. Tell him we'll find him. Somehow. We're all gonna see each other again. I like that. I'm gonna write it right now. So we don't forget. Of course. I'll help him. Thank you. Really. Vielleicht konnte ich jetzt daran ein bisschen was drehen durch den Brief. Hm? Weiß. Aber irgendwie fühlt es sich noch schlecht. Irgendwas ist nicht in Ordnung. Irgendwas ist nicht in Ordnung. Ja. ja deine Liebe gilt schon wem anders, nicht wahr? Ja, meine Freunde, damit äh, steigen wir wirklich ein jetzt in die 
dritte Episode von, von The Walking Dead. A New Frontier. Lang genug haben wir gewartet, jetzt sind endlich alle Episoden raus. Ich habe es mir alle besorgt und will euch natürlich nicht lange auf die Folter spannen. Deswegen geht es ab heute weiter damit. Und ich bin gespannt, wo uns die Reise hinbringen wird und was wir noch alles erleben würden. Und vor allen Dingen, was auch Clementine, unsere kleine Clementine, die jetzt mittlerweile schon etwas größer ist, für eine wichtige Rolle noch hier tragen wird in diesem Game. Ich bin gespannt. Wir sind alle gespannt. Ich freue mich drauf und ich hoffe, ihr genauso. Okay. Ja, der Tag, an dem sie losgefahren sind. An dem die Reise beging. Folge 3 über dem Gesetz. So, da sind wir im Hier und Jetzt. Dad? Harvey? Is that really you? <lacht> I always hoped I'd find you. God, you have no idea how good it is to see your face. I think I got a pretty decent idea, actually. I knew you were still alive. I knew it. Hey, weapons down. This is my family. You gotta let us in. Kate doesn't have much longer. Jesus. Kate! David? I'm here, honey. I'm right here. What the hell happened? She's been shot. And we got the bullet out, but she's still bleeding. We need your doctor. Now, David. What the fuck is she on the ground for? She's barely got a pulse. She's cold as fucking ice. How are you just gonna leave her here like this? He said we had to kneel. I couldn't hold on to her. The fuck you trying to prove, Max? They're outsiders, David. It's what we do with everybody. She's coming inside. But she hasn't been checked. Fuck that. This is my wife. I... I didn't know. Honest. She's going to the hospital. Now. Our doctor's gonna help you, honey. I'm gonna make sure of it. Wait, I I'm going with you. Sorry, but the rest of you have to go straight to quarantine. What for? All newcomers get checked for bites, and they all have to answer a couple of questions. Our doctor will clear the two of them, but the rest of you have to come with me to the quarantine holding uh, area. Okay again. Fine. Let's just get this over with. Hobby. Make my job easy, would you? Listen to your friend. <sighs> Whatever you say. Das wird doch eine prekäre Situation, glaube ich. Weil wir lieben Kate auch. Und ich weiß nicht, wenn das zur Sprache kommt, ob wir dann immer noch so gute Brüder sind. Bleiben wir gespannt. Trap. Oh Gott, Eleanor. We found the car without you in it. I didn't know what to think. The engine up and died. I came here looking for help, and this happened. I've been so worried about Kate. I told them she needed a doctor. They promised me someone would look into it. Please, tell me they found her. They definitely didn't look for her, because she was still in the car. But that's crazy. I told them she was dying. And clearly, it wasn't a priority. Well, at least those assholes realized she needed a hospital once they saw her. I'm sorry, Javi. Really, but I didn't have any reason not to believe them. What? The people here in Richmond. Their new frontier. Oh my god. Oh, 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 you ain't even heard the worst part yet. One of them's his brother. I didn't even know you had a brother, Javi. So he's my brother. So what? We haven't seen David in years. It's just been me, Kate, and the kids this whole time. Nobody's implying anything, Javi. Speak for yourself. 
whoever this guy is, he can't be all bad, right? I mean, he helped Kate instead of hauling <clears throat> her down here. Of course he brought her inside. She's his damn wife. You're kidding. Kate is married to your brother? The way you two acted around each other. The only reason I know Kate is because she married David. I was the best man at their wedding. Wow. Okay. Family drama aside, hope you know I'm not about to make nice with New Frontier. I know you didn't have much stake in Prescott Hobby, but they burned that place to the ground for no fucking reason. After everything you folks told me, I'm guessing I'm not gonna find my people alive. Hell, Hobby. They killed your niece! Shot Kate! For all we know, your brother could have been behind it. And even if it wasn't his idea in the first place, if he knew about it and didn't stop it... That's one hell of an accusation. Saying he had his own family shot? You really believe he'd do something like that? After seeing how he was with Kate? Could be he was just putting on a show for us. That's crazy. What was he like when you knew? You guys get along? He seemed happy enough to see you up there. At least at first. Things between me and him were complicated. Some days we'd be at each other's throats. Other days we could shoot the shit for hours and still find stuff to talk about. So he's a moody son of a bitch, huh? If your brother knew anything about what happened at Prescott, he's got to answer for it. They all do. I owe that to Conrad. I'm not just gonna let things slide. I've never really been an eyebrow kind of man. But people died. We need to even out the scales. As soon as I get a moment alone with David, I'll get to the bottom of this. He can tell me what we're up against. He has to. Family's gotta be good for something, right? Hey. Uh-oh. Hey. I would have been here sooner, but I had to take care of... something. <laughs> Come on already, Kate's asking for you. Maybe you think it's okay to keep a lady waiting. Thought I taught you better than that. What about the rest of my friends? They're not invited. Hurry up now. Looks like the rules don't apply to everyone, huh? That's right. Some people get out of here early. Others stay a long fucking time. Trip, just drop it, okay? Says a potish. Oh, smart cookie, this one. Javi, just go. I'll be back as soon as I can. You know that. Thanks. Ja, der Bruder führt sich nach wie vor wie ein Arsch auf. Was warum? Ha, vielleicht weil er ein Ziss. Oh, wir werden es rausfinden. Okay. Bin ich war aufs Gespräch gespannt. Family must be good for something. Nice, Javi. We have a process. Our own way of doing things. Your guys better not have a problem with that. Things don't go well for troublemakers here. I hope that's clear. No problem. You won't have to worry about them. Didn't sound that way. They just need time to get used to things. I hope you're right. Come on. Where are we going? Kate asked for you. I thought you'd want to check on her. Listen, Javi, Gabe, he told me some pretty messed up things. Things I need your help wrapping my head around. He shouldn't have done that. I wanted to tell you myself. Bad news is bad news. Who cares who delivers it? He told me you lost Mariana. Just a few days ago. Oh. Whew. I'm sorry, David. She's... 
She's gone. It's strange grieving for the same person twice. Like losing something you didn't know you had. What was she like, Javi? She was so little when we got separated. Who did my little girl become? We got along well. Her smile kept me going through a lot of rough times. That... must have been nice. How... How did she die? Tell me how it happened. Please, I need to know. She was just standing there, minding her own business. She just found her lost headphones in the dirt. She was smiling. And then someone put a bullet in her head. What kind of animal would just open fire on her like that? An animal with your mark. My people aren't in the habit of killing little girls. David, I was there. They shot Kate, too. Ask your buddy at the gate if you don't believe me. Max was a part of this? Fuck. Yeah, Max. I need details. What the hell went down out there? I need to know exactly what happened. Everything you remember. Same assholes killed a hostage at this town, Prescott. Prescott? At the airstrip? Their leader flooded it with walkers and, and tear gas. Leader? A crazy bald guy with a beard. Badger? What the fuck have you done now? I'm gonna handle that stupid son of a bitch, okay? Do me a favor, keep this to yourself. The politics here, they can get messy. I thought you were the boss. There's four of us that run, Richmond. You need to impress the other three. Or you'll be back on the road by morning. Okay. Also, das ist nicht der Boss Try not to stir things up. You and your friends could have a very short stay. You wouldn't let that happen, would you? We only just got here. It's not just up to me. I run security here. But it's not like my word is law. This shit with Badger doesn't make things any easier. Who's the fresh meat? Ava. This is my brother, Javi. The baseball brother? No shit. What are the chances of you turning up on the doorstep? Welcome to civilization. It's a pleasure to meet you, Ava. Oh, is it now? You didn't say he was a gentleman, David. That's because he's not. Ava's my right hand. If there's anyone you can trust in Richmond, it's her. Hmm. Lol. Was that woman, für Gruß? The fucking soldier. She was the first person I met up with after you and me got separated. I never would have made it without her. Gabe said you went back to the house. At the start. I'm sorry I never found you. We waited for you for three months. Eventually, the house was overrun and we had to move. Why didn't you come back? Mama and I got routed out of the city on the way to the hospital. It wasn't long before she... Poor Mama. I couldn't get back into Baltimore, so I hooked up with my old unit. We thought we could build a safe zone outside D.C. After what happened to Mama and everyone else, I thought you were all dead. But you were taking care of him, weren't you? Somehow you found a way. I'm not gonna lie. I never thought you had it in you. We took care of each other. And we all had each other's backs. You've changed, brother. It took the end of the world. But you finally grew up. This yeah. is where they're treating Kate. Don't get comfortable. We're not staying long. Also wie sich das anhört, hat er nicht wirklich lange nach uns gesucht oder überhaupt hat er uns sehr schnell abgeschrieben, meiner Meinung nach, oder Leute? Es hm. klang nicht so, als ob er sich wirklich viel Mühe gegeben hat. Ob es ihm wichtig war. Hey! Hey, Kid. Got everything you need? 
Uh, yeah. This place is like a resort. Check it out, Javi. Noodles in a cup. We need to get you some real food. Stat, turn you into a soldier. <laughs> Javi, I'm glad you're okay. I'm a lot better seeing you. Oh, oh. Damn, it's good to have you back. Look at this family. Look at my wife. Isn't she the most beautiful woman alive? Come on. With the lights off, you could mistake me for a walker. You're a lucky man, David. We're all lucky. Oh, what, you okay? Oh, my oh God, <laughs> shit. I'll get the dock. I'm fine. I just needed to talk to you, alone. I'm scared, Javi. More than I was the whole time on the road. Even when I thought I was going to die, everything inside me screams to get away from here. These people are killers. And David? Yeah, I know what you mean. This place gives me the creeps. <sighs> I'm glad to hear that. I was afraid you'd been won over by the security here. It's always been you and me on the road, Javi. That's how we've made it this far. Please, promise me we'll go back to that. The first chance we get. This place. It's a cage. We can't let ourselves get locked in. I'll find the way, Kate. You have my word. Rest up. You're gonna need your strength. Thanks. I feel better. I know we're in this together. But please, that don't that mich David halt nicht interessiert. I don't want to be left alone here. Oh oh. Feeling better? How you doing, sweetheart? David reported some pain. It's less now. Strange how it just comes and goes. Uh oh. I think she pulled her stitches when she sat up. Her stitches? I doubt it. But pain often comes in waves with abdominal wounds. Hmm. <laughs> I'll give you something to take the edge off in case it comes back. Truly superlative work. I thought I'd have to operate, but. All she needed was IV fluids and some antibiotics. How did you find someone with skills like these? A wound like this kills nine out of ten. Whoever did this really knows their stuff. That would be Eleanor. One of my friends you threw in quarantine. Well, she's no use to anyone there. We should let her out. I'll vouch for her. Agreed. I'll have Ava bring her here. I want to meet this Eleanor. I'm sure she'll be an asset to our community. You can vouch for the rest of them too, right? It doesn't work that way, but we'll make the case for them soon. Javi and I have to go meet some people now. See if we can't prove he's worth a damn. Oh, kacke. Ich wollte was anderes wählen. We're gonna take real good care. Okay. Send my apologies, David. I won't be able to make it. Feeling okay? Fine. I just want to keep an eye on my patient. The others know my vote is with you. Come on. Remember what I said. When we meet these guys, keep what happened to Mariana to yourself. Badger is one of my guys. And I will handle him. Hm. Halten wir den Mund? Ich glaube, es wäre besser, oder? Ich jetzt schon so viel Unmut streue. It may look pretty, but it's all sugars. There's no substance. It tastes pretty, Clint. That's all that matters. Ah, the brother. Avi, meet the guys. Clint runs food production. The crops you saw, that's him and his people. Jones, our bridge to the outside world. She handles contact with other settlements. Pleased to meet you, Javi. I trust you've been treated well. I uh -oh. hope you haven't been handled too roughly. Some of our people left their courtesy with their old lives. <laughs> oh yeah, the cell you threw me in was totally five star. 
I'm sorry about that. <laughs> we have to be careful. I'm sure you can understand. <laughs> we were just about to eat. Clint was trying to convince me of the essential superiority of his cream spinach over my magnificent Black Forest Gateau. It's no contest. The spinach has real nutritional value. Javi, take a look at that table. You tell me what you'd rather put in your belly. Uh -oh. Spinach from Clint's garden <laughs> or a baked delicacy by yours truly? Everything looks so good. I, I want it all. So polite, David. You sure he's your brother? Can't trust a diplomat. Always saying one thing and thinking another. Please, make yourself comfortable. We value straight talk here, so please, forgive me if I seem direct. We're usually pretty strict about who we open our doors to. Your brother's word counts for a lot. Is that so? The three of us and Dr. Lingard make all the decisions here, so yeah. People who choose to stay with us, they have to deal with us bossing them around. Not saying you wouldn't, but it can be an adjustment. Especially for the more independent-minded. There's no structure out there now. People get used to doing as they please. No offense, but what qualifies you to lead? Testing us already? Just curious who's leading the troops into battle. Everything you see, we built ourselves. If that's not an endorsement, I don't know what is. When Joan and I met your brother, he was trying his hand at fruit. Fruit? We found him slowly murdering an orchard on the Shenandoah River. Hotty fucking ha. Huh? I helped him bring it back to life. We had a good run there. For as long as it lasted. What happened? What always happens. We trusted the wrong damn people. That's what led us to start this. Wondering what this fine piece of body art is all about? It's our litmus test for loyalty. I've seen that mark a few times. You probably saw it at the gates. Right, Javi? We all took it as a sign of commitment. It was a crude answer to a difficult problem, and it hasn't always worked. Please understand. We had a terrible winter just after we moved here. We... we lost a great deal. Loved ones who left holes in our lives. Protecting my people from that kind of pain, that's what keeps me awake at night. It turned me into a perpetual night owl. I know it's a lot to ask, but I never want them to have to experience loss like that again. I know how you feel. Seeing the people I care about suffer, it's a terrible feeling. I just want to shield them from it all. It's a noble aim, one worth fighting for. Max? Uh -oh. What are you doing here? I sent for him. Since when does he answer to you? From what I hear, he's well acquainted with your brother. They exchanged a few bullets outside our walls. Is that right? Is there bad blood between you and Max? Nothing that can't be worked out. I want to hear that from Javi. Let's just say I wouldn't invite him to my wedding. Yeah, I wouldn't fucking go. Good, because I just said you wouldn't be invited. Max, how did this start? Don't look at him. You have an obligation to tell the truth. We caught him siphoning gas from one of our vehicles. Max. Sorry, David. I know he's family, but your brother's a thief. Is it true? Answer her. I was scavenging whatever I could find. I had no idea it belonged to you. If you just asked, we'd have given it to you. That, that's not all. Rufus said Clementine ran his truck off the road just to break him free. Clementine? A girl we had trouble with in the past. You can always judge a man by the company he keeps. Running with that girl don't look good. I would say not. Clementine's not a bad person, at least from what I've seen. Of course you'd say that. You got that honor among thieves. This is who you're asking us to vouch for, David? Seriously? You know we can't just open our doors to bandits. We're trying to build something different here. Something resembling civilization. Everything I did out there was to protect my people. That's more than I can say for you. I'm not sure what you mean. Javi? You have something to say?
One of your people. Some asshole called Badger. He put a bullet in a little girl. My niece. David's daughter. What? Damn it, Javi, I told you I'd handle it. No, David. This cousin fucking dirtbag has the balls to accuse me. He and Badger destroyed an entire town. That's enough. No. We need to hear this. Go on, Javi. Sounds like you've got more to get off your chest. They overran Prescott with walkers. Ran them in on trucks. Badger did that. Not me. You were right there next to him. I tried to get him to stop, I swear. David, we warned you about getting your soldiers in line. We don't know all the facts. We know enough. She's right, David. You've lost control. I want them gone. All of them. Take Javi and everyone in the quarantine to the gate. Send them out with enough weapons to defend themselves, but no more. Okay. Look, we can't fight this. Not now. Kate and Gabe will be safe here. Your doctor friend too. But the rest of you, you're gonna have to do what they say. I'm sorry. I can't leave Kate and Gabe alone. They won't be alone. I'll be here to take care of them. I can't help you now, but maybe I can down the road. Just stay alive. Okay? Wie das eine Mal im Haus, wo du uns drei Monate nicht besucht hast, weil du dann, keine Ahnung, irgendwas anderes machen musstest. Mhm. Das sind ein paar Menschen, ey. Hauen wir ab, ey. You're lucky I don't gouge your fucking eyes out with my thumbs. You hear me, asshole? David packed this. He did. They said... Start walking. What about Eleanor? Walk. Eat shit. Answer my fucking question. God damn it, Harvey! Let go of me! This isn't her fault, Trip. You're mad at the wrong person. Oh! Do not fuck this up. There's a settlement a few miles west of here. Don't come back. Seems your moment alone with David screwed us over pretty good. We trusted you. What the hell, man? Look, we're not dead. That's something, okay? <laughs> not yet, anyway. Let's just see what they gave us. Knowing them, it's probably a butter knife and a stick of gum. They could have just shot us. More than once. Oh, how fucking neighborly. What's that? It looks like a map. I doubt they give one to everyone. Ava did say David packed the bag. Why the hell is it tied to a baseball bat? David's sense of humor was always poorly timed. Oh, uh, is it you? Okay. There's Richmond. That helps. But we can't go back there. Well, knowing where it is lets us know where we are. It looks like they're expanding. Some of these areas are marked clear. Pretty sure David wants us to go there. And if this is us here, then I think we can head along this path. Just gotta head north. And to find north, we need to find the North Star. Oh my god. Das ist der Wagen, oder? Oh my god, der Nordstern. Wo ist denn der Nordstern? That's it. We need to go this way. What else is in there? Not a whole lot. 
flashlight, not enough weapons, no food. War das jetzt richtig? Let's go. War das der Nordstern? Ich hab doch keine Ahnung. Ich und Sternbilder. Trip, come on. What's up? Da bin ich mit Mandalas besser bei dir. I can't lose anyone else. I'm telling you, I can't. Prescott, Conrad, maybe Eleanor. You won't lose anyone else. I won't let that happen. I'm gonna hold you to that, Hobby. <sighs> Sorry, man. Rough day, to say the least. I know you got my back. And I got yours. Of course. After you. Wait, that's a good boy. Best friends forever.